so <clears throat> we're checking in on the cookies that we, the sugar maple cookies that we did up last year. Um, these are one inch thick. They're about 13, 14 inches in diameter. Um, treated them with pentacrow. These are two inch cookies that we had <clears throat> that I left untreated just to see if there would be any kind of difference. Uh, I think we did these in late July, early August. I can't remember. I can look back to see. Um, so anyway, these are the pentacle. So there's some checking. This one's good. Good. All good. I'm guessing these are all going to be okay. I kind of spalt it. Need to be sanded. Oh, I got one cracked down below. Two cracked down below. Okay, so these aren't treated, I can tell, because uh, the color isn't as gray as they normally are. So here's one that wasn't treated and did crack. This one did crack. The bottom one also cracked. So on to the two inch. Top one cracked. Yeah, I'm gonna say all the two inch cracked. So that's about where we're at with those. So treated two inch, untreated, pardon me, untreated two inch sugar maple. This one only got a little crack up there. Surprised it didn't crack more. This bottom one. Didn't crack at all. Look at that. Very bottom one. So that's it. That's our pentacle test. Um, pentacurl, all these down here didn't crack except for one. And uh, it turned out okay. Now it's just sand them and see what they look like because they're kind of gray. Not that one. Let's see. You can see the difference. That's pentacrow. So next I'll sand that up and see what that looks like. But very expensive to do. Uh, not only labor intensive, but you're going to put about eight or ten dollars, Canadian dollars, uh, worth of pentacrow on each one. Um, so that's food for thought if you're planning on making cookies yourself and you don't want them to crack. <clears throat> 